Hi friends. Um, we're going to keep this very short. Um, for the final project, here are a list of artists. Um, I organized them this way, primarily painting, photography, and then kind of a hodgepodge of sculptural, conceptual performance installation artists. Um, they're for the most part all contemporary artists working today. Maybe a few of them have passed, but for the most part they're all working today. And some of them we've already talked about, and some of them we will talk about. Um, what I want you to do is to kind of, on your own, um, quickly go through them, you know, do some Google searches, see if anything catches your eye, um, and do that this week. Um, I'd like you to get me a list of three artists you possibly could work with and the reasons why you're choosing that. For example, um, looking up here on the upper left, if you're interested in graffiti or installation, uh, performance art, political art, gender-based um, work, um, materials-based work, let's say you're interested in glass or in concrete or in painting, right? Um, experiential, you want things where humans interact, you know, people interact or animals interact with the artists, etc. Uh, issues around sustainability or race or class. Let me know what your interests are. I can help you in this process. It could be very simple where you email me and I email you back and that helps you pick your three um, artists that you might want to work with. Ultimately, you're going to just pick one, okay? But the three artists help get me a sense of what you're thinking and and why, okay? Um, and also, I'm not giving the absolute explicit instructions. This will be due um, in three weeks. The form of presentation is likely going to be a voice thread so that you can have imagery. You can draw on the images when you talk about them. You can have your voice. Uh, and we, as um, members of the class, can also comment on some of the questions that you're going to be asking us. Okay? Um, all right, let me fix this down here. Okay, um, so elements that are necessary for you um, to include in this project, uh, the background of the artist. Um, do a little research, right? Tell me where they're from. Tell us where they're from. Significant works and your discussion of them. You'll, this you'll put in a little bit of time. Um, why you chose the artist, and conceivably because you liked them or didn't, and you wanted to learn more. So give the rationale in the presentation as well. Uh, a, refl a reflection on how your appreciation shifted or deepened as you learn more. Likely, as you learn more, you found out some cool things, found things that made you less interested or more interested, and share that with the group. Uh, questions for the group to think about. And you have to have it, really two questions that you ask us to respond to during your presentation. So we will, with a voice thread, um, make our comments um, and answer questions that you ask us to consider when looking at the works. And you're also going to conclude with your own quality of failure reflection on your presentation. Let, let us all understand the risks you took, the things you, you were hoping to convey, and um, how, and then perhaps uh, how well you thought you did with that, and questions that still remained. Okay, um, super small on this lesson here. Take a look at the uh, assignment sheet for this part of it um, on the week 10 uh, page. And um, any questions you have, email me, right? Um, I can help you narrow down that list, and I possibly can add to that list. Here you have these artists. There are many more who are working. What I don't want you to do <clears throat> is... Just pick somebody from down the block who might be doing some interesting work, but we really don't have museum shows or significant gallery shows. Um, and we want to be able to do some research on the artists and to be able to have some critical response that has already been written that we can use to help um, make sense um, of the scholarship around studying the artist. Okay? All right. So, friends, um, I will talk to you on Wednesday, and good luck with this, and do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.